Hello everyone and welcome to pCloudy's webinar on using XE test with pCloudy to achieve mobile test automation. My name is Dinaka and I'll be the host for today. Before we get started, I would like to go over a few housekeeping rules. Your line is currently muted. However, you can submit your questions during the webinar through the chat option at the bottom of the screen. We will answer your questions as part of the Q&A section at the end of the webinar. This webinar is being recorded and we will send the link of the recording to share with your colleagues. Let me introduce the speaker for today, Shoaib Ahmed. He is a lead pre-sales consultant at pCloudy. He has around nine years of experience in the IT industry. Prior to his role at pCloudy, he worked with Microfocus as a pre-sales consultant for application delivery management portfolio, catering to technologies such as DevOps, automation, performance, cloud, and mobility. Without further ado, let me hand it over to the speaker, Shoya Ahmed. Thank you so much, uh, Dinakar, uh, for the quick introduction. So hello, everyone. Uh, welcome again uh, for the uh, webinar. So my name is uh, Shoya Ahmed, and uh, today I'll be uh, taking through the webinar uh, on the topic, uh, you know, using XE test with uh, pCloudy. So I really appreciate everyone's time here. So I look forward uh, uh, for having an uh, interactive session. So if you have any questions, you can pretty much post it in the chat session. I will answer your queries at my end of my uh, webinar. Okay, so let me let me just get started. Okay, here's the agenda. So we will uh, see what X XC test is. We will begin with understanding uh, the basic introduction about uh, what is XC test. And then followed by uh, some of the challenges, you know, uh, that we face in the exit test framework uh, when we run it on the local environment. And then we will touch base on uh, what is pCloudy and uh, how does it help in terms of uh, the parallel execution. And uh, we'll also have a quick uh, live demo uh, where I will be uh, showcasing, you know, uh, how to integrate uh, the pCloudy with the Xcode and, uh, you know, uh, run your ex, uh, Exitus, uh, uh, or Exitus project on the platform and execute with parallel execution. And then we'll have a quick uh, uh, Q&A session. Okay, so let's understand what is Exitest. So Exitest is, uh, you know, Apple's official framework for testing applications uh, using Xcode. So this uh, framework supports both uh, Swift as well as uh, the object C. So just like an Android studio, uh, the Xcode also provides a very feature rich uh, software testing capabilities for developers and also that they can significantly uh, help them to enhance the stability of the software. And uh, with the help of uh, Xcode, uh, you know, the Xcode provides the XC test wherein they can extremely uh, uh, you know, extremely helpful for achieving and uh, building the better quality of the software. So you can thoroughly test the iOS apps and uh, regardless if it is done in unit level or, uh, you know, even at the UI level. So this will enhance and improve the user experience and accelerate the adoption of those sort of apps. So Exitus is not a new framework, you know, but it has, you know, evolved uh, quite well with Xcode releases. Uh, and uh, in fact, you know, the XCTS framework was introduced with uh, Xcode uh, 5 that, you know, a couple of years ago. So with XCTS, uh, basically it does allow to, does allow its users basically to do the unit test of our uh, Xcode project, uh, based mainly on the iOS apps. And um, it is cons currently considered as one of the top options for iOS app testing. So you can write any uh, test with XCTS and um, it's a, a trivial task for ios developers because you know the exit test is fully compatible with both objects uh, objective c and also the swift and also in addition all the test uh, classes and the developers created in xcode projects are basically the subclasses of uh, uh, the exit test cases so it's predominantly uh, overall in a nutshell if we talk about the exit test it's a automation framework uh, which was uh, introduced by apple uh, so that the developers can quickly uh, do the unit testing of their uh, iOS apps. Okay, now let's, uh, while there are some uh, advantages of uh, using the exit test, right? So uh, it is pretty easy to learn and you can quickly create your uh, test. 
and um, also uh, since there is a support for a native language as the tool is developed uh, uh, you know as the tool is developed within the same framework so there are some uh, uh, challenges uh, when it comes to uh, exit test uh, when this gets executed on the local environment so let's uh, look at some of the uh, challenges when you execute your test scripts on the local physical devices so what happens so the, the number one is the test execution on uh, multiple devices uh, the two uh, in case if you want to run it parallel so there is a great uh, uh, challenge uh, wherein uh, when you are uh, executing the physical uh, executing the script by connecting a physical device to the machine so there is an always challenge uh, you know uh, in order to run it on multiple devices so uh, so how how do you run in such cases uh, so it has to be you know either uh, you connect it uh, to a different physical devices by using a usb usb hub but there is a limited but there is a limitation towards it right and hence uh, there is a great challenge when it comes to test execution and uh, also when it comes to ci c uh, cd integration part uh, so uh, if you plan to you know um, run your uh, ci cd pipeline uh, and uh, in by integrating the exit test so with the conventional way there is always a challenge it's not a, a straightforward process it's pretty much complicated uh, you know it it involves uh, various configurations of the x code with the uh the ci cd pipelines uh you you can uh, name the different uh, ci servers which are available so it is across uh you know the challenges are pretty much uh, uh there and it's a complicated process uh so be it either jenkins uh, team city bamboo or any other uh, ci pipeline so there is a complicated way of uh, you know testing it on the different uh, uh you know the different ci cd integration and when it comes to the reports segment side, so the reports can only be viewed only on the Mac machine. So that is also one of the uh, limitations. So while you uh, while the Xcode is being installed on the uh, Mac machines, but uh, uh, report viewing right is something which is only readable in the Mac machines. So this is also one of the uh, limitations uh, when you execute this on the local environment with the physical devices and uh, there are no real performance metrics are available all right so when we talk about performance uh, metrics so this can be uh, with related to the cpu uh, the uh, memory the cpu consumption the memory consumptions the logs and the uh, and the network chat and so on so it's not a straightforward uh, with xcode so you always have to be dependent on third party tools you have to configure the third party tools with your xcode and then uh, you start monitoring it but there is nothing as such with the xcode which will help you monitor the uh, performance metrics which is not quite re readily uh, readily available so in case if you would like to understand from the performance uh, point of view uh, on the different metrics key performance metrics then uh, uh, then it's always a challenge all right so this is also one of the challenges uh, with uh, the exit test execution on the local device and uh, of course there is no video recording of the execution also available if you are running it on the local physical devices uh, there are certain uh, so th there is no inbuilt tool uh, you know which can uh, help while the to while the script is getting executed so there's no way that you record it during the automation so that hampers basically your debugging uh, uh, time, right? So, so, so let's uh, uh, try and see how we can, uh, you know, uh, how we can cope up these challenges. How uh, P Cloudy can help you uh, with these challenges uh, to address it. So P Cloudy, uh, just to give an introduction, uh, P Cloudy is uh, basically uh, it's a uh, cloud-based uh, 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 continuous testing platform which provides uh, the access to the real physical uh, devices by connecting remotely so that you can test your uh, mobile apps, uh, be it uh, Android devices or uh, iOS devices. And uh, uh, not just manual testing, the users can also perform automation testing by using uh, the different uh, automation solutions, especially when it comes to uh, APM uh, and uh, also Exitus for that matter. So that's about uh, uh, P Cloudy. And uh, I can also integrate with uh, this, uh, the DevOps, uh, uh, the DevOps tools. In case if you are using any tools like uh, Jenkins, Team City, Bamboo, and uh, 
any other uh, DevOps tools, then you can certainly integrate uh, pCloudy. So we have uh, plugins and as well as the APIs, the REST APIs, so which you can pretty much use it uh, uh, within your pipelines and you can quickly trigger your automation uh, test directly from the pipeline. So that's about uh, uh, pCloudy. And now uh, in the particular, uh, with respect to the exit test framework, right? So exit test was something which was recently launched at pCloudy and uh, we will try and uh, help, you know, the scripts that are created in XC test, right? So we can use the same framework and we can execute it on the pCloudy platform and execute on parallel devices, right? And uh, also benefiting from the various different uh, features that we are providing as part of uh, uh, the uh, platform and uh, we are also providing some additional features like the reporting side uh, where it, where you can quickly have a look at the on uh, the report segment time which talks about the performance metrics whatever the challenges that we just uh, uh, went through in our previous slide uh, we will uh, showcase uh, the some of the challenges that we how we overcome with by using the pcloudy platform so uh, we have recently launched the peak loadies apis uh, for the exit test so which can be helpful uh, for uh, you know testing your exit test uh, scripts that are created okay so let's uh, quickly uh, look at uh, into the uh, the device cloud just to give an overview what are the different features uh, that peak loady brings in so the, there are several advantages of uh, the device cloud. Uh, there is unlimited uh, manual and uh, automation testing. So we are not limiting or we are not restricting the user uh, for uh, you know testing their mobile applications uh, for the any restricted time. So it's an unlimited. Uh, you can test as long as there is a requirement. You can test on any uh, devices. And uh, we have over 2,000 real uh, devices, which has a combination of browsers and OS combination. So it's a uh, pretty much a mix of both uh, Android and uh, iOS devices. So we have all the latest devices uh, uh, that are available in the market so that uh, you can test on wide variety of uh, different devices, uh, different uh, screen sizes and the different operating systems and the, and the uh, net networks as well. And uh, can also uh, not just uh, manual testing, but also you can do test your uh, uh, you know automation testing for uh, natural interactions as well. So we have uh, when it comes to iOS segment, uh, the different iOS devices with different uh, OS and versions. So it's very important that we test our applications on various different devices, right? Uh, on the various uh, versions and OS uh, OS right. So so we have all the different uh, devices pretty much available in our. Uh, cloud and uh, as i was just discussing about the reports so you have access to the detailed reports on on completion of uh, either a manual test or automation test we will be providing a detailed report so the reports uh, has the further details about the uh, the session uh, that was run so which has the logs and the screenshots and also the videos so the entire session has been captured in the form of videos and the uh, and the logs so which will be quite uh, useful for the further analysis and the debugging purpose and we are also providing the performance metrics which i just discussed all right so we are providing the uh, uh, performance metrics for uh, the application consumption in terms of the cpu how much uh, CPU, what is the CPU consumption level at the application level. And uh, we are also providing uh, the memory consumption and network chat. Uh, so in terms of upload and the uh, download speed, and uh, we're also uh, providing the, uh, the network chats. And uh, when it comes to network simulation, so you can pretty much test your application on uh, different networking conditions, uh, different networking conditions. So it's very important uh, to test your applications on various uh, different networks. So there are uh, some devices which equip with the real SIM cards. So in case if you would like to test your applications on the real SIM cards, then you can pretty much do that. However, uh, we have a network simulation feature which help you to test your application with various upload and the download speeds. So we have created certain profiles with different upload and uh, download speed like uh, 2G, 3G, 4G, and so on. So you can pretty much uh, test your application on these parameters, uh, so which will help you understand how your application is uh, uh, responding with different networking capabilities. And uh, we also have a feature called WildNet feature. So this is mainly on the, if you, if you have your application which is uh, accessed only in the staging server, it's a kind of a staging server application. 
uh, where the application is accessed only in the restricted environment and not accessible outside the network right uh, so in such cases we have a feature called a wildnet feature which will help you test your internal apps uh, right so there is a small executable that needs to be downloaded on your local machine and uh, run a small command so we have listed down in the documentation so you can follow the documentation to understand more about this wildnet feature so which will help you to test the <clears throat> Uh, the application uh, which is accessed in the uh, local uh, site so you can test all your uh, internet uh, internet applications and you can also perform the uh, localization testing so we have uh, on a feature which will help you test your applications in various different languages provided your application is supporting so you can quickly test your application with uh, by using the uh, language uh, feature to test your application uh, with various different languages and uh, as i said uh, it's pretty uh, in, in when it comes to integration it's pretty straightforward and easy so either it be it uh, automation tool or uh, even be it a devops tool right so you can pretty much integrate it uh, integrate uh, with your um, existing tools and uh, quickly uh, integrate and run your existing scripts on the cloud platform so that's about a quick uh, overview on the uh, device cloud and some of the advantages that uh, i've just uh, gone through it now let's uh, try and understand how this integration uh, happens with the exit test by using the cloud is api right so the prerequisite for that is uh, to have an exit test project right so the the project uh, to have a ready available project which is created on the xcode and uh, followed by the pcloudy account pcloudy account is to access the uh, devices and uh, run the test on uh, different devices so i have listed down certain steps uh, right certain i have captured some screenshots uh, or how do you set up your uh, exit test project and uh, how do you zip it and uh, how do you upload it over the cloud and then start your uh, testing okay let me just uh, move ahead so let's look at some of the steps uh, that are required to prepare the exit test package uh, to run on the uh, pcloudy platform so as a first step so you have to uh, open your exit test project and uh, uh, click on your project select the project uh, which have already created in your uh, exit test and uh, you can navigate into the uh, project settings by going into the file select uh, project settings and uh, change the derived path okay so change the derived so, so by default it's a uh, default location so you have to change the uh, default uh, the location from default location to the customized uh, custom location and uh, provide the path of the application where the application is residing and uh, once you have provided the location you can pretty much click on done and the next is uh, you have to uh, the next is to you know clean builder uh, you have to uh, go into the uh, product uh, product tab and go into the clean build folder and uh, click on the build for option and use the testing option there in that case and uh, once this is done uh, you can uh, go into the uh, go to folder option where you can quickly uh, find the application the application which is residing that you have given it in the path so provide the path of the application right where the application is residing and uh, you will uh, land upon the application side select the uh the two items right the two items one is uh, the debug iphone s and the other is the exit test run so you have to select these two options and uh, just zip it zip this right you have to compress this two items so that uh, it is uh, compressed in the zip file now my exit test project is zipped now i can quickly upload this in the uh, pcloudy uh, data right it be cloudy my app data which is a cloud location so these are the uh, prerequisite that you do before your before you um, you know integrate the plat before you integrate the exit test with the be cloudy now i would like to showcase uh, in live uh, in the real time uh, how this will happen so let me just quickly jump into the uh, demo side and uh, i will showcase how the integration happens so let me just jump into the pcloudy platform so this is the uh, uh, quick uh, the pcloudy platform so it's just a public cloud uh, so there are of course when it comes to offerings there are three different offerings public cloud private and the on premise 
So uh, let me just showcase the uh, uh, the integration on the uh, public cloud. It remains same across all the different platforms. Respective. As a user, I'm just logging in. Of course, you have to sign up. Uh, if you have not, sign up and log in with your uh, credentials. Let me just uh, log in into the platform with my credentials. Okay, I have just uh, logged in into my into the uh, into my account. So this is the quick dashboard where you land up. So this will basically give the uh, uh, your application state, your applications uh, related uh, details about how many sessions that you have run, manual sessions and automation sessions. So all that insights you can quickly found uh, in the uh, my dashboard. Let me just go into the devices tab, all right? So. So this is the devices tab where you will be seeing all the uh, devices uh, which are connected to the data center. So these are the real uh, physical devices that are connected to the data center. And these are not uh, simulators or emulators. So pretty much have a mix of both Android and iOS. So you can pretty much scroll down whichever device that you are looking in for. This is just, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm just showcasing how the platform looks like. So let me just quickly jump into the my app data. All right, so this is the cloud location or the cloud drive given to every individual user, right? So where the user can upload their application. So uh, as as you have prepared for the XC test project and you have zipped it, right? The next step is to upload uh, into the my app data, which is a cloud location, all right? So you can click on just upload file and browse from your local repository, the file that you have zipped, the XC test project that you have zipped in. So you can directly browse from the from your local repository and upload so for the benefit of the time i have already uploaded and just like to showcase the application that i have so this is the zip file uh the taxi test project that i have zipped and uploaded to the cloud it's uh, pretty straightforward so so once i am done with that the next part is to go to get the uh, api key okay so for every user has its individual unique uh, api key so to access to the API key, just click on your name under the drop and go to the settings tab and uh, you can get your API access key here, as you can see. So it's just waiting. So you can copy this. You can copy the same API access key and uh, you can now, uh, you are now ready with the, uh, you know, testing uh, for the exit test integration using P Cloud is APIs. So we have provided certain uh, APIs, uh, right? So there are some list of uh, uh, APIs that we have pro provided in our documentation. So we will uh, look into it and uh, see how we can use those APIs and uh, you know integrate with PCloudy platform and test uh, our uh, the 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 script that we have just uh, uploaded. Right. So the next step is to you know uh, we need an API testing tool. So it's been uh, so for testing the APIs, right? So you can pretty much uh, use your own uh, API testing tool, whichever you are using. So I am using uh, Postman here. For that matter, I've just launched the Postman, so which will help me uh, to get the uh, the responses for the request that I am going to send by using the APIs that we have listed out, right? So I'm using uh, Postman here for uh, sending the request. So let me let us just quickly look at the uh, the uh, different APIs uh, that are required, all right, to execute. So in our documentation, we have pretty much provided all the different steps. So uh, so this is these are the basic uh, you know the APIs that are required, all right. So we need an uh, you know authentic we need to authenticate the PCloud token to get an the auth token. So for which we have got the API key from the settings tab. And the next API is to get the list of devices, all right? So to get the available list of devices on the cloud, and then we will book the device, which are all the devices that I want. I want to run the uh, the test on specific devices, and then uh, we will be uploading the uh, the API, the IPF file, basically, right? So which we have already done. So this piece is we have already done. We have uploaded the uh, uh, the uh, the zip file the, the test project all right actually like test project and we will initialize and uh, start the device services so device services this is something which is optional 
uh, this is mainly on the performance metric side. Uh, so if, if you think if you need the performance metrics uh, for your test, XE test that you are going to perform, then you can pretty much use this. So there is a detailed documentation link uh, for APIs that we have listed out. You can go into the API documentation link uh, and uh, get the relevant APIs right from this so let's start the process uh, let's get started by you know uh, getting the you know authentic let's authenticate the pcloudy token uh, so let me just go into the postman so this is my authentication request right so uh, where i am providing the username the username is in my email id and the password is the api key which i just uh, uh, generated uh, from the pcloudy platform right so I can I just have I just copy and paste it here and uh, I can send this request. Let me quickly run send this. The request is sent and uh, I have got a successful token here. I can, I just uh, copy this token for my future uh, future uh, uses. Uh, I can I just copied this code, right? The token which I have got it through this authentication. Now the next part is to get the list of devices. All right. So let us go to the uh, get iOS devices tab, right? So where this is the uh, the URL, right? Uh, Device.peakloady.com where we are accessing to the API devices. And uh, these are the steps, right? We have to provide the token. So this is the token which we have got it from the authentication. I am passing the token here. Uh, the duration uh, I have just mentioned is as 10 and the platform is uh, iOS and available now is true. So this will give me a list of uh, uh, iOS devices which are currently available in my public cloud, All right? So just let me click on send here. Let me send this request so that I get the relevant uh, response to it. As you can see, I have got all the list of uh, uh, the devices that are available. Now I can choose uh, which devices I want, All right? I can get the devices ID all right the devices id and uh, i can send in my subsequent request uh, so that uh, you know i book the device so the next step is to book the devices all right so to book the devices so uh, just make sure that uh, you know you access the uh, api documentation link where we have uh, listed all our uh, the uh, uh, the APIs, right? So this is the XA test automation APIs that we have listed, so you can get it. So just for the benefit of the time, I have already uh, extracted, uh, got the APIs and uh, kept it ready in the uh, the postman. So this is the place. So the next option is to book the device. So let me just go into the postman and uh, go for book uh, booking the devices. I can select the uh, devices which are uh, available here i can slowly just check with the devices whichever i want to run say for instance i want to run it on uh, different devices right i can just copy i'll select uh, iphone 5s and iphone 6 right let me just uh, select these two and go into the automation booking where i will be providing the devices id right so i can provide the uh, devices id here uh, and uh, let me just get the token, copy the token, and just go into the automation booking and uh, change the token ID. And these are the devices ID which we have got in the iOS devices. All right, so 490 is iPhone 5s, which uh, I have pretty much given. And uh, let me take another whichever is available I have to make sure the device is available otherwise the script will fail the device will not get launched if it is not available right so you have to make sure that the device only you get the devices which are available and uh, the next step is to uh, another device which i can think of at this point is i can just choose some other devices whichever is available so let me just take another device okay i think these are uh, pretty much available okay and now i can execute it uh, so i'm booking two different devices here so you can run it on a single device or if you want to run it on multiple devices just uh, uh, provide comma and followed by the device id whichever the device is available so you can pretty much uh, provide and uh, you will be providing the duration here uh, for duration in minutes so i'll keep it as uh, 30 and the automation type is an 
XEOI test. So let me just send. I'm booking the devices. If the devices are available, then uh, you know you can pretty much test it. So as you can see in this case, uh, the devices are booked by some already by someone already. So and hence I have to make sure that the devices are available, right? So in this case, let me just take a uh, device which is available. I just randomly took one device from my previous run. So let me just uh, take another device which is available at this point of time. I can see a different iPads, iPhone S. Well, let me just run it on 443 or I'm just curious to run it on okay I can take this 190 is there okay just a moment, three two three two six. Okay, let me just take three two six here in this case. Six and try to hit run. I'm just uh, booking the devices here. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, devices are reserved successfully for the automation. Now I can execute it. As you would have noticed, there is an automation ID as well, all right, which is uh, created. I can use this automation ID for my next steps. So the next step is uh, to initialize the automation, all right? So I can initialize the automation. I have got the APIs uh, for that. So before that, let me copy the token from my previous request, go to the initialize, paste the token and change the automation ID, which we have got from the automation booking. The automation ID is this. Let me just take this automation ID as well and paste it in the uh, initialize automation. So here we are initializing the automation, right? So we have booked uh, the uh, devices. So the devices are booked. So no other user can use those devices which we have booked. Now I can uh, initialize, I can start my start the execution. All right, to start the execution, I have to provide the the automation ID, which we have got from the automation uh, booking from the booking devices response, and also the token. Let me also uh, start the device services. So device services is something which is optional, but I would uh, uh, like to show how the uh, the performance metrics you know would look like, uh, and also I'll capture the videos for it. Okay, let me just take the automation ID and uh, paste it. Okay, I can now initialize the uh, kickstart the automation. So I have provided the token, which is a valid token, which I've taken from my previous request. And this is an automation ID, which I've got from my booking, right, response. Let me just click on send. Okay, I have just clicked on uh, send. Now I should get a response uh, here stating the execution has begun. So as you can see, I've got a success state here, which says the automation initiated successfully. Now I will also start the services, all right? So this services are nothing but the performance metrics, the logs and the videos which gets captured. So I have provided all the, uh, the token and the automation ID. Let me just quickly do that as well. Okay, so the request is sent and uh, it, this will get started. So now the execution has started, all right? So now with PCloud, what we have done is we have gone one step ahead and uh, we are also showcasing it in the live so you can see the live view to navigate the live view just log into the platform and uh, navigate into the report section uh, where you can see what exactly is happening in your automation run so i'll go to the report section and uh, in the report section you will start seeing the in the my active session you will see the test that is uh, just got initiated so it is just loading it will just take a little time here and uh, you should start seeing yeah as you can see the test cycle the x test uh, the xc test has just began and it's ongoing so now uh, i can view the live view session we are also providing the live view session what exactly is happening during the session let me just click on uh, view so this will open up the devices all right so since we use two different devices the devices have just launched uh, as you can see i can see both the devices running in 
and uh, one is iphone 6s yes, and the other is 4s yes. as you can see the execution has just began right so this is the sample test case that we have written uh, using xc test project and uh, it has been executed on this particular uh, device Uh, so once the execution is uh, finished, the device will get released. For some reason, uh, uh, the other device just uh, uh, got released. I have to check on that. But however, I will the the number of tests, the number of devices, uh, which how much uh, theoretically you can pretty much run it as long as the devices are available. But uh, this will uh, in the live view you will be able to see around uh, four to five uh, different devices that are available. All right. So as you can see, the test is being executed right so once the test execution is completed uh, so i have a pretty long test case that i have for this uh, demo purpose uh, where it we have, where we have a positive scenario as well as well as on the negative scenario uh, so the test will get completed and uh, uh, once the test is completed you will start seeing the uh, the reports the report will also be get generated all right so let me just showcase some other reports uh, which we have already while the test is being executed uh, to access the uh, the report once the uh, execution is complete you can navigate into the all reports section and uh, in the uh, in the reports right so we'll start seeing the uh, the reports that we have that are generated that we are run in the previous run so you can click on further view review report so this will give a detailed report uh, right uh, so this has details about the overview session and uh, which has the details about the test type the automation tool that you have used uh, the results the number of devices that you have used uh, total number of parallel run and executed and this will also give the session details uh, the session name uh, when started the completion then the total duration i can further uh, go uh, and uh, try and understand at the uh, device level so this is a quick report uh, the xc test report which has a device level at the device level what type of manufacturer os this device has and the model and the version as well and uh, you will start seeing the entire detailed report all right so these are the performance metrics uh, that we initiated right as a which was an optional but of course uh, if you wish to have the performance metrics for your applications that you are testing in so you can pretty much use that uh, api as well for testing uh, the uh, i mean for uh, for getting the performance metrics so since we initiated the uh, the device, the services right so we are here we are having the entire the list uh, of the cpu chat this is entirely on the device the device uh, consumption on the device side and uh, we're also having the memory memory chat pretty much about the memory at the device level how the memory consumption happened all the period of uh, test execution and we are also providing the raw data uh, in case if you wish to create your own uh, graphs so you can use this uh, raw data for cpu and the memory so you can pretty much uh, uh, you know test uh, use this raw data for creating your new own graphs and uh, these are the logs this is the device level logs which will be used for further uh, debugging purpose in case if there are any issues or any others and uh, this is the video that i was talking about the entire uh, automation execution video is recorded uh by while the execution just got started and uh, till the uh, the execution got completed while the release while well, before releasing the devices so the entire video again can be downloaded all right so this is the detailed report and we are also providing the uh, local report all right so the local report which is generated at the xc test xc test level so to access the xc test level uh, you can further click on uh, the xc test cases report so this will take you to the uh, the new uh, devices page uh, which will have a detailed report let me just access the latest report which we just ran yeah the test has run successfully and uh, this is the detailed report so this is the xc test the html report that we are uh, providing uh, so all the test cases right how many test cases that were executed so you pretty much have all the records here how many tests that are passed and how many tests that are failed and uh, we are also uh, also this also provides the screenshot it captures screenshots for every failed test case right now it's for every failed test case you can so pretty much monitor at which particular which particular test case got failed so 
they you can capture all the uh, screenshots uh, for the failed test cases so the failed test cases the screenshots are available only only for the failed it's not for the past one so this is the report uh, in in detail it is available in the html format and uh, now if you wish to share this report with your uh, management or uh, any stakeholders right so the entire test report along with the uh, the performance metrics right so you can pretty much share it uh, it's uh, very uh, easy and straightforward you just have to go to the uh, reports page and uh, you can click on copy report link so that a report link will be copied to the clipboard and uh, you can share it among your different team members and colleagues so they need not be uh, a p cloudy user anyone who has this link uh, will be able to access the report and uh, access the report just like how we are seeing right now okay so that's about uh, xe test uh, right so how we integrate uh, with the p cloudy platform so this is something uh, which we have launched uh, uh, recently and uh, this will uh, definitely help you uh, to test your uh, ios uh, apps that you have created that you have created the scripts in the xe test uh, framework and uh, not just uh, test it, but uh, test it on multiple devices, all right? Multiple devices. So currently we are we have provided the APIs for all the different, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the different uh, use cases like initiating the, uh, uh, you know, the getting the authentication token and then booking the devices and uh, initializing the test. So you have various uh, options, various different APIs that are provided. You can use all these different APIs for uh, uh, for executing it with the PCLOD platform and hence achieving the, uh, uh, you know, achieving the test execution uh, and reducing the test execution time by running it on multiple platform. So this is one of the primary advantage of uh, uh, having the cloud-based platform, which will help you test your iOS apps on multiple devices and at the same time run in parallel. And, uh, uh, with that, uh, uh, you know we are uh, uh, we are going ahead on the challenges that we just saw during our slides, right? When it comes to parallel execution, and uh, even even uh, for that matter, when it comes to CI/CD pipeline, right? So it's pretty straightforward with our the REST APIs that we have provided. You can quickly initiate the uh, uh, you know the test directly from the CI/CD pipeline. Just provide these APIs. You can with the help of these APIs, you can. Uh, you can uh, you know trigger the automation test for the XE test and uh, performance metrics is an added uh, uh, benefit uh, which will provide uh, you know the understanding about the uh, the CPU consumption and the memory consumption at the device level so which is very important to understand so of course it's an optional in case if you would like to have this feature then you can certainly use it otherwise then uh, it's however as I said it's optional for you okay and uh, the videos also right so while the exact the entire session has been recorded in the form of uh, video so and the reports can be easily readable so that uh, these are the some of the primary benefits of uh, having xe test with uh, p cloudy so with that you can test your application quickly on multiple devices and uh, you can uh, you know reduce the test execution time by uh, test execution time so we, I'm pretty much covered on the uh, demonstration side. Uh, so if you have any questions, I would like to quickly uh, start the question and answer session. So please uh, go ahead with your queries. You can put put it on the chats. Uh, I, I'll be happy to answer all your queries. Okay, so I can see uh, a few questions uh, coming in. So uh, we can get started uh, with answering the questions here. So one user is asking how to uh, use the API testing tool. Can I use my own API testing tool? Uh, and the user is saying it is using SOAP API. 
if i am pronouncing your name correctly bala murugan right bala murugan okay yes uh, of course uh, bala murugan you can pretty much use your own api testing tool uh, so it's not uh, it's not that uh, you use only a specific tool but if you are already using any api testing tool you can pretty much use it so soap ui is also another uh, api testing tool which you can pretty much use to test your uh, uh, to test the apis right so that we have provided in the link and you can pretty much uh, test it on the uh on our platform so there are various different uh, api testing tools you can pretty much use the different uh, apis that we have and uh, i hope i have answered your question palamurugan okay and there is also another uh, question by name uh, imran so he says what is the maximum number of devices that we can run parallelly okay imran to answer to your question so there is no theoretically there is no uh, such limit so as long as the devices are available you can pretty much test all your uh, different all the different ios uh, devices which are available so however when it comes to the live view right so when you are uh, when you are viewing the live view so there is uh, a limitation to it it's only you'll be able to run it around 5 to 6 devices okay uh, because when you are running on more number of devices say on 10 more than 10 or 15 so what happens is the live view will not be appropriate where the screen size uh, the, sc the devices will not fit in the same screen so behind the scene of course the execution will definitely happen and you can get the entire report out of it and you can know how the uh, test execution happened but however in the live view in order to see the live view so you will be seeing it only on the uh, uh only uh, five to six devices right which you can test it but however theoretically as i mentioned there is no as such limit as long as the devices are available you can pretty much test all the different uh, uh on, on the, we can test it on number of uh, different number of devices i hope uh, i have uh, got your question okay uh, are there any other questions let me just take it Okay, so um, if you are, um, if there are any further queries, you can uh, feel free to reach me out uh, on uh, no, by email. So I'll be happy to answer to your queries. And uh, also, this as this webinar is uh, recorded, uh, we can certainly answer. Right? I can take few more questions which are coming in right now. So let me just take it, take those queries. So there is a user who's asking, how can we debug if any iOS device goes into problem? Okay, a good question. Uh, uh, I, I don't know who, uh, who the user, but yeah, a very good question. So when it comes to uh, debugging, right? So uh, we have a, a tunnel a tunnel option, all right? So you can certainly use those uh, tunnel option in case uh, if you want to debug your application directly. But however, while your execution while you're executing your XE test uh, with the Peakloady platform. And if there is any issue, of course, you can see it in the live view, uh, where there are any issues related to the platform, you can pretty much uh, see it in the live view as well. Also, with the help of the uh, the report, in detail report, the local report, which we are uh, uh, which we are capturing, the local, the local report, which uh, at the XE test level that is getting captured, so you can know that the test cases that are passed, how many test cases that are passed and how many test cases that are failed. And not just that, uh, it also captures the screenshot for every failed test case. So you can pretty much monitor uh, which test cases are failed and you can pretty much work on that, those uh, uh, particular test cases uh, on the, uh, with your developers, right? So for any, uh, any, any issues that we have that you encounter. So that's the uh, way of uh, doing it. It's just, uh, you know, uh, you know, you can pretty much use it. There are different ways of, uh, of course, debugging it. Uh, so, of course, live view, which will help you to see, you know, if there is any issue, if the device is, uh, if the application is getting crashed or if there is any issue and the application did not launch or while testing it, if there are any issue, of course, it will, the test case will fail and then uh, you can monitor those test cases with the screenshots, whatever that you have. So that's how you uh, debug, right, on the iOS uh, devices side. I hope I have answered to your question. 
okay uh fine then uh i'm pretty much done with the uh, uh on the demonstrations and the qa i hope uh, this was this session was uh, useful to you all uh, this session is being recorded and also we will share across uh, the link so that in case if any one of your colleagues has missed you can pass it on to your colleagues uh, so they can they can quickly have a look at it so if you have any uh, any further queries you can please reach me out on my email and uh, i'll be more happy to answer to your queries uh, related to, to this uh, exit test or anything on the pcloudy platform so i once again thank you everyone for your time uh, for taking out your uh, time now really appreciate and i hope this session was very useful uh, we will look forward uh, in working with you or so thank you so much again have a great day